Hey everyone, this is Weston. Welcome back. And in this video, I would like to show you how to change the wick in your Aladdin oil lamp, your incandescent mantle lamp. This is the Genie 3, and this is the number 23 burner. So they're all the same pretty much, but I'm going to show you how to change it. So first off, you want to take off your chimney and your top burner and your mantle, and you want to set all that in a safe place. You would make sure it's out of oil. You would drain the oil out and then give it some time to dry. Your wick is going to be exhausted. So we're going to unscrew to the left, and we would take out our burner assembly. Like I said, this is the number 23. Let's take our glass base. I just have the Genie 3, and we're going to set it to the side. Now, you would have a new wick in your hand that you could put in here, but I only have this brand new wick that's in my lantern, or in my lamp, so I'm going to show you how to change it with this one. So first off, you want to still make sure your key is turning freely so that your wick goes up and down. You want to turn your wick down to where it's out of sight, and you want to grab your front, your flame spreader, and you want to pull gently while twisting it until your flame spreader comes out. There it is with its two ears, and I'll set that down right here. You might not be able to see that. Now you've got what looks like a hole, and this is your inside assembly right here. So you want to grab the whole thing, and you want to twist to the left, so counterclockwise, until you feel it disengage. So there, once again, there it was engaged, disengaged. It will come right off. There it is. There's the three lock-in pieces right there. And now you have something that looks like this. I hope that's clear enough on camera. i, I got to sit far enough away that you can see me. So now the trick is to get this out. The number one thing to remember is that you have to get the wick razor out also. So here's the bottom of it right here, this little piece of metal. The teeth in this wheel or this turn knob engage it. So we're going to turn to the right. We're going to start turning to the right now. You'll see the wick start to come up. There comes our wick razor, that piece of metal. I'm still turning to the right. Still turning, still turning, still turning. And in a moment, you'll hear it click. Click, click, click. Now what's happened is it's run out of teeth, so now it won't raise it anymore. So without touching the wick and get it all over you, grab your wick razor right here on the side, and we're going to wiggle it while turning to the right and wiggle it off. There it went. It wiggled just off. Remember, it's got to go around the inside pipe. So we wiggled it just off. And now, now that it's disengaged, you can see the holes here, we would pull our wick straight out the top. It's coming through the bottom. Boom. There's what your wick looks like with the, burn, or the razor still attached. And here's what the inside looks like right here. There's the bottom. Now, I don't know if the new wicks come with a, a wick razor. That's pretty hard to say. But what you want to do is you want to pinch in on the side here just a little bit and disengage the wick razor from the wick without getting oil all over this wick. There's what the razor looks like. See, it's got two little clips like it just holds it. And there are the little holes that engage the side of the little dial. Here are the two metal pieces on, side, on the side of it, each of the wick that it grabs into. And that's what we're looking for. So now that everything is apart, the main thing to remember is this little key can go up and down, or in and out, actually. So you need to move that up or to the side when you're putting in your new wick. So we would get a new wick out of the box. We would take it. We would inspect it, make sure nothing's wrong with it. Try not to touch the top of it too much. Take our wick razor here. It doesn't matter which side. And we're going to gently, while trying to maintain the round shape, because it's got to go back over this, this, this tube right here, to maintain this round shape, we can round it out a little bit on this. We're going to clip on our wick razor. You may have to squeeze it a little bit. The two ears will clip right on. Now, when you get it clipped on, make sure it's in the dead center and try and go ahead and give it a little touch to round it out as much as possible. If you want to cheat, here's a little cheat right here after you clean this. Take the wick and gently come down on the top of it and then see if you can round it out just a smidgen. There we go. Now it's perfectly round. Now, here's the next part. Turn the wick razor facing the little knob. And you want to put in your left side first, my left. So I'm going to go down on the left side because it will go all the way through. This will help me keep from dropping the wick. You'll notice it's starting to come out the bottom. If you have to, use a little pin. I have a pair of scissors here that you can push down with. Just something to help you get it out the bottom. Maybe even a pair of little needle nose pliers. Alright, when it comes out the bottom, grab it. I didn't stuff it far enough. When it comes out the bottom like that, grab it and work it through. 
This is why you want to make sure your wick razor is on the right side. Now, come over to this side with your wick razor, and you've got to do the same thing, but just pull out on your handle. So let's work our wick down in here without messing anything up. Now you can flip it over in your hand. You'll see what I'm talking about when you get to it. And we're going to see how far we can get it without it catching. And then just take your little pair of scissors or a gentle pin and push it down on either side. Sometimes it's a little bit of a booger. I wish it would go faster, but you'll probably have issues with yours too. There it goes. Coming out the bottom, just gently grab it and let's work it through. Now that you've got it in, here comes the fun part. When you get right here, the wick razor goes inside the centerpiece. Put it inside the centerpiece right here. Align it with this. And now we have to work the entire wick over the top of the center burner. So it may require a little effort. You may have to reach inside and gently prod it over the edge because it is split all the way up to the top. Pulling down on my wick. Don't break it or don't force it. Now, spread your little metal clips out. Now it's over it. So it's inside of it. Now we're going to pull straight down on it, and we're going to align the center of this with our knob. Coming down with it, pull it on down. Now we're going to start turning to the left, and we're going to see if we can get the teeth to engage. You heard it click just then. I'm pushing down. Now I push it in. Now my wick goes up and down. There's down. There's up. Now we've replaced our wick. We would put back on our centerpiece here, come down, find where it clips, turn it to the right, and lock it in. We would take our flame spreader, put our flame spreader in the middle, push it down, and we have a brand new wick installed in our Aladdin lamp. So there you go. Hope that helps you out. Trim it, char it, whatever you need to do to get it going. Use a little pin or a uh, little stick, and you'll be good to go. They should last for hundreds of hours. Thanks so much. Tune in for the next video. Y'all have a great one.